So hello and welcome everybody. This is Stream Does Retro Things. I of course am Stream and today we are playing some South Park PS1. So uh, what is Stream Does Retro Things? Well this is just where I play some some games and things. Uh, specifically games that uh, I don't know much about or that I've heard a lot of uh, questionable things about. This one specifically I played a bit before on I believe it was N64 when I was a kid. But, uh, Mama yeah. So the real question here is, though, who do we want to pick? Um, so the story for this game, I don't know a whole lot about it. There's a little intro FMV I'll probably put it in here. And that's pretty much all I know about the story. So, uh, I do know that, like, at the beginning of the game, we are going to be fighting some, uh, interesting enemies. Uh, I think I'm going to play as Kenny. Well... Yeah, it's a bit Kenny. Let's do it. That way if he dies, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's just Kenny. So we're doing Operation Turkey Butt. We gotta find all of our... Oh, hold on. Hello, children. Did you hear the news? What news? A big comet is headed our way. It's gonna cross paths with the Earth. And when it does, all kind of crazy spooky stuff is gonna happen. Spooky like how? Spooky like you better get your asses indoors, children. I'm not kidding. Our lives are in danger! What the hell is that about? <laughs> Man, Chef is weird. So there we go. Uh, Operation Turkey Buff Fair game. Find your friends and enjoy the Renaissance Fair. So that's our goal. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, loading times are a little bit slow. We are playing on a real PS1 here, so things tend to take a minute. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, uh, no analog controls. I'm gonna actually turn on the analog stick, the uh, emulation mode. Um, so for anybody who's never heard or seen this game before, uh, your main weapon here is a snowball, and yeah, we fight turkeys. The turkeys are kind of trash, they only do uh, like one HP of damage, and they only take one hit with a snowball to kill. It is incredibly easy to fight them off, I uh, can't really go back there. Also, the render distance is trash, and I hope you like that noise, because at least in the early game, I've never gotten far, but at least in the early game, you're going to be hearing a lot of that noise. It is beautiful. There's Cartman. We can smack him with some. Yeah. Fucking Cartman. So mad at you guys. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so the goal is going to be to play through this entire game, uh, assuming that I don't get so uh, fed up with these terrible turkey sounds that I give up on it early. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, from the little like demo sequences in the beginning of the game that I've uh, watched as I was like sent setting things up and whatnot. Uh, there are other enemies, I'm pretty sure. So wait, is he behind me? So what's the... Okay, so the blue dot must be... Yeah, there we go. Nah, you're not gonna get shit. Calm down. Where? Stop front and... Come back here, Kyle. God damn it, Kyle. Alright, so now, I mean, I guess we got all our friends at this point. I guess we just gotta go to the Renaissance Fair and kick some turkey ass. Which just some snowballs. These snowballs, at least in the early game, are OP as fuck. And you can just hold down the button and just, like, throw them forever. It is ridiculous. Uh, how good this, this weapon is here. Alright, so that's the... Oh, oh shit. Uh, people... <laughs> God damn. This is amazing in so many ways. Uh, where's that last turkey at? Where's he? I hear him. Is he stuck somewhere? Oh, okay, I'm being hit. Oh, he spawned behind me. Okay, yeah. That's fair. That seems, that seems just fine. No problem. Look at this. Look at the Easy does it. Turkeys ain't got shit. On Kyle, or not Kyle. Uh, <laughs> Kenny. Jesus Christ, guys. Calm down. I can't think with you yelling in my face like that, turkey. Alright, so I know there are, like, some secrets and things off the beaten path, I'm pretty sure. Uh, apparently this isn't one of them. 
Uh, I've played, like I said, a tiny bit of this game before, and I know I found, like, some cheesy poofs and other things. Jesus Christ, that audio. Whoever came up with that turkey sound, they had to have realized by the time they were done, like, got it in the game and playtest, and they had to have realized how terrible that was. Uh, there's just, there's no way that they didn't. Just constantly gobbling in your face. <laughs> just, and they, the way they all overlap with each other. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It is a true work of art. Uh, so the game wants us to go that way, but there's a little cave over here. With some... Let's see, we got some cheesy poofs and... I'm uh, not gonna lie, I don't know what that is. Zaps Cola or something like that? That's a speed up. I don't know what cheesy poofs do. I'm guessing that's just a heal. I'm pretty sure, yeah, my health just went up there. I don't think, like, regens over time. So I'm guessing that's just a uh, health up. Kinda simple. Kinda basic. We're just gonna continue on our way here. This level is not too long. It'd be a lot easier to find our way around, though, if you could see more than three inches in front of your face. Uh, that'd be a huge help. Are they coming up the hill here, or are they all just stuck down there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't even think I can hit them from up here. Okay, so, uh, let's just aim back up. I guess we'll just jump down, and then... There we go, yeah. There, here we go. It's okay. No problem. They are so weak. One HP per hit. And they kind of, like, trip over each other. There, yeah. See? No problem. GG. Easy. I guess there's a little ramp. So their pathfinding is just that bad that they just couldn't find their way around. To be fair, I guess my pathfinding was that bad too, eh? Uh, <laughs> Come at me, boy. Okay, so there's... I believe there's some way to, like, strafe. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Here we go. We got this. Easy. Easy. Okay, how do you aim that one's up? L2 and R2 are aim up and down in this game, by the way. I guess in a world without analog sticks, that makes sense, I guess. But it's kind of awkward, you know, in this day and age. But it works, as I'm getting stuck on the terrible hitbox of that sign there. And let's see, how much farther? Uh, you can also kill the innocent animals in this game with uh, just a snowball to the face there, and then that's their animation. Kind of fitting for the show, I guess. Let's just continue to make our way around. I don't know how many more secrets and things there are. Uh, this, I've only ever beat the first level, uh, except for maybe in my childhood. It's possible I'd be more than, I just don't remember. That seems to be an invisible wall. Okay. Can't go around that way, so let's just uh, continue on continue on this way then. Um, yes, yeah, so I may have beaten more in my childhood, but my god, I'm not going to pretend to remember anything from then, so... Isn't it just beautiful, though? Honestly, I mean, like, the art style is kind of fitting, I think, for the show. If the show was, like, done in a 3D style, I don't think it's that bad. It's just, really, it's the... Jesus Christ. The terrible audio design of these turkeys, and I'm sure other enemies. My god. Um, as well as, at least in the beginning of the game here, just lacking, like, any sense of challenge. And the god-awful render distance, the draw distance with this fog just destroys all sense of anything. Like, you can't explore, because you can't see anything more than a foot in front of you. It's terrible. That's kind of what kills it, I think. That and this weapon, like I said, the difficulty, the balance is just... Well, although, again, this is the first level, you know, it might get better. I mean, reviews that I've seen of this game, I don't think it gets much better, but it could get better. We shall see. So I think we're nearing the end here. I, I see I got 1,090 points. I don't think the points actually matter at all. Uh, that I know of. I don't think they do anything for us. I guess we'll see, though. Uh, so then you get back here. Yeah, I remember this. You get back here to the next door. The door's closed. So you just turn around, and there's just... This, you can pretty much just stand in one spot. Like, you basically don't even have to move. I'm just gonna change my aim a tiny bit. There you go. See, I basically just stood in one spot the entire time. And it took care of it for me. 
So here you get to pick up some dodgeballs, and uh, dodgeballs are an alternative weapon type that are just amazing, and that they are one hit kill to the turkeys, just like your snowball, except they're limited. Uh, <laughs> now I think the real benefit of them is like they bounce around off of enemies and things, so they can technically take down multiple at a time. And maybe, oh Jesus, uh, maybe they do more damage to like more powerful enemies. You know, maybe they just do more damage where the turkeys are just so weak that you can't tell. That's a possibility. I honestly couldn't tell you because I never got far enough to really figure that out. But we'll hold on to them for now. Uh, we can switch them out like that. I'll go ahead and show you how like one of them works. See, see, then you just kind of saw it kind of bounced off of them. If you hit them right, it, like I said, it can kind of like bounce around different enemies and things, take out multiple of them. I don't know if there's any benefit to taking out the uh, other animals here other than the turkeys, but uh, we're going to anyways, and uh, there we go. That was level one. Amazing, isn't it? So, I don't tank, destroyed, and escaped. I don't remember seeing any tanks, but what do I know? Killed 132 turkeys, and uh, innocent creatures needlessly butchered? Four. I'd say we did pretty good. Uh, new head-to-head -head character available, Mr. Mackey. A cheating... A cheating's bad. Uh, yeah, let's save this. Preparing to save. It's beautiful, isn't it? Is it everything you ever hoped it would be? Tanya, South Park games will never get any better than this right here. This is the pinnacle of South Park entertainment. <laughs> the stick of truth? Nah. Fractured butthole? Definitely not. FPS action. All the turkeys must be destroyed. Find Chef for more info. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are officially turkey destroyers. I wonder if the game's any different depending on what character you pick at the beginning, other than like just hearing them talk as you go around. And then obviously the people that you find. So wait, did I get... Okay, I did keep the ones from... I was, for a second I thought maybe I didn't even keep the ones from last time. Wait, if everybody's right here at the beginning of the level, why did I even have to find them? Why couldn't they just come with us from the get-go? There's a little love shack, that's good. Um, so I admit I have no idea where I'm going right now uh okay doesn't seem that seems to be a wall uh there's a sign is that pointing okay yep it's pointing me in this direction so i guess we just keep going this way that seems fair also the song didn't bother me so much in the first level but if i'm not mistaken this is the same exact song isn't it Hopefully that changes at some point. If it's just the same song for the entire game, that would get a little repetitive, I gotta say. Just a tiny bit, you know? Oh lord. I'm sorry. Uh, this is beautiful. I don't know what's come over me. I'm complaining so much. This is 10 out of 10, best game. As I'm running around looking for secrets, I should just be trying to get through the game. I doubt there's any secrets worth really finding, even. I mean, if there is, feel free to let me know in the comments below, but, uh... I feel like there's probably nothing worth hunting for. So, how do I get... It's pointing me in this direction. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I guess we're not trying to go through the gates there. My bad, that was my fault. Uh, okay, so this must be... Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a tank. So the tank is just this big turkey thing, I guess, that it was talking about last time. But wait, th this wasn't in the last level, was it? Like, was there one of these? Oh god, my aim is trash. And it's just running away, like it's not even attacking me. That... That was incredibly easy. Okay, what door opened? It wasn't one of these ones. I'm guessing it must be up... It must be up this way near where I found it. That makes sense, right? Let's see, 2020, how topical. Uh, anyways, that was incredibly easy. Uh, I would have thought there would have been a little more, you know, with the first, uh, what I assumed to have been a boss. I guess maybe that wasn't the boss character? Okay, here's another one. 
this one gonna be any different? Also, can I aim up a little bit, please? I mean, yes, I can actually aim up a little bit. It's just me. Oh, God. Yep, yep. Here we go. Just, there we go. Maybe now's the time to use the uh, dodgeball. As I'm trying to throw snowballs at this giant turkey's asshole. Awesome. There we go. Are they all just going to run away from where I need to be? Because just running back and forth is kind of... Kind of a waste of my time, to be honest. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. Uh, see, I have a whole lineup of games that I'm wanting to play. And if there's anything you guys can think of that you'd like to see me play on one of these, uh, let me know. I am happy to uh, see if how much it would be to procure a copy and play it. I find something charming about bad old games, or just like unknown old games in general. Um, whether bad or just unknown, whatever. Something about them just really piques my interest. I like, uh, I don't know, there's something about it. I really can't explain it. Like this is, in my opinion, a bad experience, at least so far. It controls okay, at best. Like, the audio is just something else entirely. But my god, it's like, I think it's just like, it makes me wonder, how did they get approval? Because like, Sony had to approve this being on their console, right? Like, this isn't the days of the Atari where just anything went any trash could be shoveled onto the platform and just, you know, be hunky-dory. Like, somebody had to approve this being on the platform. And they were like, yeah, you know, that's fine. Is it basically like, as long as you got a publisher behind you and the game runs, then hey, you're good to go. And honestly, this isn't the worst game on the PlayStation. I wouldn't say this is a great game on the PlayStation. But it's definitely not the worst. Okay, that was disturbing. Uh, but yeah, some of those Barbie games, oh my lord, I've only, I only own one copy, and uh, I was just kind of in the PlayStation when I got it, is Barbie Super Sports, I talk about a bad game, um, but even that, like as bad as it was, Team, uh, Rocket Power, Team Rocket something another, that game, I can't even imagine. I, I may give it a shot at some point on here, but uh, I don't know. Because I've tried to play through like the first couple story missions, just see how it is, and I couldn't do it. Speaking of not being able to do it, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think we may be lost, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, quite possibly. Okay, so which way? We came from that way, I think, so is it... Then we went right? So is it straight ahead? Or... No, it must be... I think it's the other way, because that's the way we just went, and it ended up being a dead end, right? So those two must link up, so we're going this way, I think. Follow the arrows. That seems good. Hey, and there's enemies! That's always a good sign that we're going the right way. But yeah, and of course not just bad games, I am of course also interested in good games. <laughs> so if you uh, have any good game suggestions, there are a couple that I want to play. Uh, on the PS1 I don't have very many that I want to play off the bat, but uh, on, for PS2 I know the Ratchet and Clank series is something that I played when I was younger, or at least one or two of them, and I uh, really want to play through that series, so that's something I'll probably play and record at some point. Um, a lot of like Nintendo, Super Nintendo games as well. I don't have a working... Nintendo or Super Nintendo at this point, but uh, of course I have a Switch and I have the subscription on there, so I'll probably be playing through like some Mario games, some Kirby games, things like that on there. My god, I can hardly hear myself think over the sound of this turkey, Jesus Christ, and it's running away. This, yep, yep, that's what I love. I love you just running farther away from the goal so I can get lost in here. And then just had to waste time running back with nothing to fight, nothing to do, just in silence. There we go, yeah, yeah. Great design. There we go. 
Uh, but anyways, I have a lot of like the retro mini consoles and uh, like the Nintendo Switch and things, so I'll probably play some of the games off of those. Uh, and uh, my collection's ever growing though. I am working on getting like a Nintendo, working Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all those other things. It just takes a little while, you know. Gotta find a suitable console in, in a decent condition. And then of course start collecting out the games and controllers and other ex various accessories and things. I know emulation's a thing, and don't get me wrong, I, I think emulation's a wonderful thing for preservation of these old consoles and things, but uh, when possible I prefer to play them as originally intended. Uh, geez, I'm just gonna come off this ladder and then they're just gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be turkeys staring me down. Like, how is this even... <laughs> like, they can't get to me. I can just stand down here and murder them. That's terrible. Um, I do think... Right now I'm playing on the original PS1. I do think I'm going to start playing on the PS2 instead for PlayStation games here shortly. Uh, just because higher quality and things like that. But I don't know. There's something kind of charming about booting it up in an actual PS1. Something kind of nostalgic, you know? Oh, so these turkeys can jump. I wonder why those other ones can jump down from the ledge up here. Oh, also, how do we get more secrets? How do we... Oh, shoot. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Friends. Or not friends. How do we get up there? Huh. Don't know. I must have missed something somewhere. Maybe that was that cave. So there was like that little cave area, and I went uh, straight for the boss, and then kind of... I thought that was the way I was meant to go, so I went this way instead, but maybe I had it backwards. Yeah, it seems like there's a bunch of people just under me. Oh, shoot. Okay, you're not under me. Oh my god, the sound, though. The sound is amazing. Uh, so if I go in this water, I feel like that'll be a bad thing. Oh, okay. I think I gotta go in the boat. And then, oh, okay. GG. Surprised I'm not dead. I th honestly, I thought that was gonna kill me. Is this maybe how I get to the, yeah, okay. So this is how I get to what I thought was a secret, but I guess it was actually just a, uh, you suck pit. Uh, I should try that again, Jesus Christ. Can I go up the ladder maybe? Okay, here we go. We got this. Switch to the D-pad. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sometimes the D-pad helps, man. The D-pad is your friend. Don't be scared of the D-pad. Love the D-pad. Work with the D-pad. Twerk the D-pad. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. 10 out of 10, man. And more turkeys. Did they respawn, or...? Now there's none under me, though. Strange. Okay, so were they maybe supposed to be up here since the beginning, but... Oh god, oh god, okay. Just get some... Get some space... Between us. What? How do you... Can I jump? Is there a jump button I didn't know about? Oh, the dodgeball looks a little... Weird under there. Okay, so circle just changes. Triangle just changes. Square throws. X. X. Oh, there's a, there's actually a jump button. I'm just an idiot. Okay. Well. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so, oh. Okay, that's interesting. The right and left analog stick. Clicking them down jumps, too. Interesting. Oh, wait. The right analog stick aims up and down and lets you strafe, too. Yeah, okay. I honestly... I don't think I ever even touched the right analog stick. That's actually kind of cool. Good to know. Uh, okay, so we can actually jump. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, okay, so I can just kind of fall onto this one. Wait for it to stop moving. Okay, I'm scared. Just gonna wait for it to stop in front of the other one. There we go. And, hey, we made it. GG. GG. I'm guessing this is getting close to the end of any level now. What if there's any way to invert controls? I am one of the weirdos that invert my 
vertical controls. Down needs to be up and up needs to be down. I uh, just don't understand how you could possibly play any other way. It doesn't make any sense to me. At least when you're on analog sticks. So if you see me just randomly looking up at the air whenever I should be looking down or vice versa, that's why. Because uh, my little brain is confused and has no idea what to do. Just gonna, there we go, throw some snowballs up this turkey's ass until it falls over. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, this is just so bad. This level's a lot longer than I thought it'd be though, to be honest. So is there anything else up here? Can't really tell because, you know, the draw distance is measured in centimeters. But I think that's it. That was the end of the second level. So what's it say? Tanks destroyed six, escaped? Wait, can you actually get like scooped up into those things or something? Only 71 minions that time. Uh, no innocent creatures. Man, I feel like we failed. Uh, do head to head character Bar Brady. Devils, devils lives. Devils lives. Del, del, del these lives. I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and give that a save, but that'll be all for this time, guys. I will be back with another episode of this shortly. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave it a, a, a thumbs up and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you didn't enjoy, then hey, that's fine too, I understand. Uh, I'm not very good at this, so that's a thing. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Bye-bye uh, for now.